Hello and welcome back to ASG2. Today I'm starting something a bit different. I'm starting a new series called 10 Minute Games. Where I'm going to build a game in 10 minutes. Probably in Game Maker, as I am today. And then you can go and download that game for free down in the description below. Now, if you are a person who is familiar with Game Maker, you will know that this is a very, very old version of Game Maker, uh, which is why it's actually known as Game Maker Legacy. Now, the only reason I'm using this over Game Maker Studio is because I actually prefer it. It is also at a solid state. This is a finished piece of software. Game Maker Studio is still in development and can be very buggy at times. So, for the sake of convenience and simpleness, I'm going to be using this version of Game Maker. Now today I'm going to be making a very simple sort of maze like collect the things game. Now as you can see I've just loaded in four different sprites. They're all 32 by 32 uh, which is kind of what I want to work with as a default in this sort of in this series because it's quite an easy multiple to work with I guess. And when you create a room, which I'm going to do now, the snap and the uh, square size is already uh, 32 by 32, so that's going to be very easy to work with. So I've gone and created a bit of script. Uh, this is in the any key event of the object player, and it's basically going to move the player around the map when um, the player uses the arrow keys. Now the speed at the moment is 1, that's probably going to be a bit slow, I'm going to change that to 2. Uh, this is how many I think that's pixels per tick. Uh, so actually I'm going to go and place the player in the room and test that out. So I'm testing this out now and as you can see this works Unfortunately, I've got the up and the down the wrong way round, um, but I will change that. So let's do it. So now what I've done, not using much script here because I've just used the drag and drop stuff because it's easier. I've created, I, I've merged all of the collectible sprites into one sprite and just made it so that there's a chance that it will have that sub image. So let's go and add some into the room and see if that's worked okay well the bit of code that I added in has actually worked and um, my player is now moving in the correct direction so that's good uh, we currently don't have any events nothing happens when the player touches these but what's going to happen is the player's score is going to go up uh, when you when you collide with these things. So let's do that. Okay, so I've also now created a wall. I've also created a sort of maze inside the level. Um, and I've also made it so that when the speed hits zero, it's automatically going to align to the grid. So that means you don't get stuck at any corners. Unfortunately, this is still a bit buggy, so I'm going to go and fix that. So, I've fixed the uh, movement of the player by doing it the lazy way around and just doing that which means there's basically no coding involved in this game whatsoever because making simple games it's just inconvenient using coding really so now we need some sort of goal for the player and the goal eventually is going to be to collect all of these but I'm thinking yeah there's not really enough here and just clogging it with loads of squares is going to look really bad so these are just going to be bonus squares I'm going to create a smaller sprite and put one on every single square and it's just basically going to be a rip off of Pac-Man let's do it so I've added these uh, collectible things in I've renamed those to bonus and they're now worth 10 times the amount which is shown on the sprite so let's go and test that out. Let's 
got to wait for this to load. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it is all working perfectly. And yes, they flash and stuff. So very uh, creative. It, it just adds a bit of fun, doesn't it? So they change from red to green and then turn back again. Doesn't actually signify anything, it just looks fun. And this is a ridiculously simple game. It literally can be built in about 10 minutes. Uh, which is what I'm trying to prove in this series of videos. I'm proving that every single game ever made on the Atari was built in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm joking. I love the Atari. Um, the, the original Atari um, sort of arcade machine that you used to find in on like street corners where there'd be an arcade and stuff. Right, so there was 225 points in that level as you can see. That's indicated by my score up here. And yeah, I think all we need now is some sound effects. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, so I've I, I've done that and I've also added a new room in as you can see we now have uh, two different levels so we're gonna go and uh, run this I've also added a sound effect for when you complete the level and we're just gonna test that this works so let's do it So I'm just going to give you a little preview. So here is the sound when you collect one. As you can see. That's going to get very annoying very quickly. But it is just like Pac-Man. So see you when I've collected all of these. Actually. Let's go to the first bonus. That's the bonus sound. So yeah. I'm going to collect all of these up. And then see you at the end of the level. So I just completed the first level and unfortunately you missed that sound effect. But you'll have to download the game if you want to set up, hear what it sounds like. Now there's one thing that this is missing that Pac-Man has, which is of course enemies. So I've created the monsters and as you can see they are absolutely not a rip-off of Pac-Man. Uh, let's table that because that looks just weird. Um, I've been really creative here. They are going to be called um, uh, Derpy is the pink one because of the derp eyes. Uh, annoying is going to be this one. I, I don't know why that came to me. This one is going to be uh, retired, extremely dangerous. This one is going to be uh, Lantern, and this one is going to be called. Um, rhythm and okay, <laughs> those are such terrible puns. And also, I put the credits for the sound effects which were registered under attribution three or anything that's not in the public domain. Make sure you do that when you add resources which do not belong to you or are registered under some license which require you to credit them. So that's it, that is it, I'm done, that is the final game, now you can go and download that, link is down in the description, it was absolutely free, it's an EXE so it might be flagged on some of your firewalls and antivirus software but don't worry it's absolutely safe, and I'm calling the game Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites, being as it fits with the theme, and it's also a tribute to one of my favourite ever EDM songs. So, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and thank you for downloading, and thank you for playing, and thank you for subscribing, and liking, commenting, and favouriting this video. I'll see you again next week for another 10 minute game.